Today, I'm going to show you seven tips to help you take the best portrait mode photos on your iPhone. But before we jump in, please take a moment and subscribe to the How To Do It All channel for more how-to videos, which now cover a potpourri of topics. So one of the coolest camera features on the iPhone is portrait mode. Basically, when you take a photo of a person, it can make the background look artistically blurry or uh, artistically out of focus or what the Japanese call bokeh. Portrait mode really makes your subject pop and can make your photos have a dramatic look. And I'm gonna share with you seven tips and tricks to help you master portrait mode on your iPhone. Now, I should warn that depending on the model of iPhone you have, some of these tips might not apply. Tip one, move your subject. Portrait mode works best when your subject is between two and eight feet away from the phone, which is roughly between half and two and a half meters. When your subject is too far away or too close, the iPhone will politely prompt you with a message on screen. If you can't move your subject, try moving yourself closer or farther away. Also, on certain iPhone models, you have the option to have a two times or a two and a half times portrait mode photo. Think of this um, kind of like a close up. Tip two, look for yellow. When you set up your portrait mode masterpiece, look for the color yellow, specifically look for the natural light label at the bottom of the screen to turn yellow. This indicates that the iPhone has identified and focused on your subject and that it can separate them from the background. Also, look for the yellow corners of um, like an invisible rectangle to appear around your subject's head. If you don't see the yellow corners, you can tap on your subject's eye to help the iPhone find focus and lock on. Tip three, choose a portrait lighting look. One of my favorite parts of portrait mode is portrait lighting. Now these aren't filters, instead they change the way light shows up on your subject and can make things look brighter or even more stylized. There are six portrait lighting effects. The default is natural light, and as the name suggests, it doesn't change anything. Then there's studio light, which brightens your subject's face, contour light, which makes shadows look dramatic, stage light, which removes the actual background and adds a black one instead, Stage light mono, which does the exact same thing as stage light, just in black and white. And high key mono, which turns your subject to grayscale and changes the background to white. You can switch portrait lighting looks before or after you take the photo. Pro tip. If you plan on using stage light, stage light mono, or high key mono, I recommend switching to that look before taking the photo. That way you can uh, adjust the framing or your subject to produce the best shot and have the most flexibility. Pro tip. Tip four, depth control. You can adjust the depth of field before you take a portrait mode photo. This will change the amount of blur on the background and can help hide any imperfections along the edges of your subject's cutout. In portrait mode, go to the top right corner of the screen, tap on the aperture button, which is uh, the little circle with the letter F in it. On a normal camera, when you adjust the aperture or f-stop, the depth of field changes and can give your photo that aforementioned bokeh. Now, when the aperture button is yellow, you can use the horizontal slider above the shutter button to adjust how blurry the background looks. Now, don't worry too much about fine-tuning it because you can change it after you take the photo. And that brings us to tip five, edit your portraits. After you take a portrait mode photo, you can tweak things to your taste in the camera app. Pro tip. To find portrait mode photos, or really any portrait mode photos on your iPhone, open the camera app. Go to the albums tab, and then under the media types section, tap on portrait album. How neat is that? Pro tip. Now, once you find your photo, tap on the edit button. There are tools to change and adjust portrait lighting looks and the amount of background blur. For portrait lighting, go to the top left corner of the phone and tap on the portrait lighting icon that looks like a hexagon. Then at the bottom of the screen, use the portrait lighting carousel to switch between looks. 
Use the horizontal slider under the portrait lighting carousel to adjust the amount of portrait lighting that is applied. To change the blur, go to the top left corner of the screen, tap on the aperture icon, which is the oval with the f-stop number, it will turn yellow. Then at the bottom of the screen, adjust the horizontal slider. Tip six, selfies and night mode. You can take portrait mode photos with the iPhone's selfie camera. And everything I told you about using portrait mode on the rear cameras applies to the front facing camera, except you can't zoom in or out. Also, if you have an iPhone 12, you can take portrait mode photos with night mode. When it's dark enough and you're in portrait mode, look at the top left corner of the screen. If your flash is off, you'll see the yellow night mode icon. Now, if you don't see it, it might just be too bright for night mode to activate. When you take your portrait mode photo, make sure your subject stays as still as they can, and also try not to move the phone too much during the capture sequence, which can last a few seconds up to 30 if you're using a tripod. The result is a brighter portrait mode photo. And my last tip, tip number seven, remove portrait mode. You can undo or remove portrait mode from a photo. After you find the photo you wanna change, tap the edit button. Go to the top of the edit screen and tap the yellow portrait button. It's that simple. And that's all I got. By the way, all the phones that I use in this video, there are links to them in the description. They are affiliate links, but they do help support the channel. And now I wanna hear from you guys. What do you think of portrait mode? Do you have any tips to share? If so, throw them in the comments. And last, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you don't, keep your damn mouth shut. All right, let's do a portrait mode selfie.